Electric car giant Tesla is facing a significant hurdle in Sweden as a labor dispute with service center mechanics has escalated into a multi-sector standoff. The conflict centers around Tesla's refusal to recognize the rights of the Swedish Metalworkers Union, if metal, to represent its employees and negotiate a collective bargaining agreement. The dispute began in late October 2023 when roughly 130 mechanics at Tesla service centers across Sweden walked off the job. Their primary demand? A formal collective bargaining agreement with Tesla, a standard practice in Sweden that sets wages, benefits, and working conditions. The mechanic strike sparked a wave of sympathy actions from other unions. Dock workers have blacklisted Tesla vehicles, refusing to unload them from ships. Postal workers are withholding license plates for new Teslas, effectively stalling deliveries. Electricians, in a show of solidarity, are refusing to service Tesla's critical charging infrastructure. These combined actions have significantly disrupted Tesla's operations in Sweden. Deliveries have slowed to a crawl, and the company's ability to maintain its charging network has been hampered. Tesla CEO Elon Musk, a vocal critic of unions, has responded to the situation with frustration. He took to social media to express disbelief at the intensity of the strikes, particularly the secondary actions by other unions. However, there are signs that Musk might be ready to de-escalate. Recent reports suggest he believes the storm has passed, hinting at a potential resolution on the horizon. The crux of the issue lies in the fundamental clash between Tesla's corporate culture and Sweden's established labor market practices. Sweden boasts a long history of strong unions, and collective bargaining agreements are the norm. These agreements, negotiated by unions and employers, dictate working conditions and play a crucial role in regulating the Swedish labor market. The outcome of this dispute has the potential to reverberate beyond Sweden's borders. If Tesla is forced to recognize the union and agree to a collective bargaining agreement, it could set a precedent for unionization efforts at Tesla's facilities in other countries with strong labor movements. This could significantly impact Tesla's labor relations strategy going forward. It would be beneficial to delve deeper into the specific working conditions that prompted the mechanics to strike. Are there reports of low wages, long hours, or safety concerns? Reaching out to both if Metal and Tesla representatives for official statements on the ongoing negotiations could provide valuable insights. Investigating the broader trend of unionization efforts in the electric vehicle industry would add context to Tesla's specific situation in Sweden.